I'm sure you people are like, that's why she's single. Yes, and so you go and marry. Focus on yourself. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I decided to um film like a get to know me type situation. You're going to understand why this bowl of rice is here soon, okay? Um, so what I'm just gonna tell you is subscribe, please, okay? help your girl like you guys will be viewing my videos and not subscribe me and it hurts bro just subscribe thank you i'm not angry it's just pain in me there's a difference <laughs> please subscribe so today i decided to film like a get to know me type situation what what i decided to spice it up and put like some food on here it's like it's, i think it's called like mukbang challenge i don't know i might be wrong well i decided to do that featuring like ninja jello because this is like the plug So I put this in a bowl and all of that just to like get me started because so, I don't like plastic containers I just have that on here but what I did was I asked a bunch of my friends to send me questions that they kind of wanted me to answer on here or like things they were curious about or whatever or, like my opinion and stuff so I have that on my phone what I'm going to do is just occasionally be looking down here just to like remind myself of the questions that were sent to me also I'm featuring cranberry juice or whatever you guys want to think it is Thank you. Let me have my bowl, like my rice, please. I haven't tried this out. I literally just ordered it. I ordered it from somewhere called Ola's restaurant. Oh, it's actually not bad. Disclaimer, I don't want to freak anybody out, but I've been occasionally known to swallow my rice. It's not intentional. I try to chew. But sometimes like it tastes so good and I'm like hurry up and go down my throat and then I swallow it. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> so the first question that um I have asked from one of my friends was um what's your name and like what do your friends call you? For those that kind of know me, my name is Chenwe. Also Mary. Like I'm Nigerian, so they give us like a baptismal name and like your native name. My native name is Chenwe, my baptismal name is Mary. I go by both. It literally just depends on the setting I'm in. I have people, I have, I literally have like an ex that called me Mary. I have like friends that call me Chingwe, it doesn't really matter. Um, So where are you from and how long have you been in Canada for? I think I kind of like answered that already with my first answer. I'm Nigerian. I grew up in Nigeria. I came down here when I was um 15. <laughs> I came, I was 16 like, couple months after I just wanted to watch that my throat a bit I was 16 like a couple of months after I came here so I came here when I was 15 I'm 25 now so I've been in Canada for like 9 to 10 years that's ridiculous I'm a Canadian citizen as well but I think I'm more like I lean towards like the Nigerian side I am from Inigo in Nigeria that's like Igbo and for people that know <laughs> what they say about Igbo girls that's top one okay like it's not even intentional i swear like i'm nigerian i'm an evil babe and then i'm i was born april so i'm a taurus and the taurus like if you guys know about like the zodiac signs and all we're called like the bull or whatever we are stubborn so put that in a bowl and it's like recipe for disaster bro but you know i know jesus so sometimes i'm chilled sometimes i'm chilled and then sometimes you know the dna part kicks out because i don't want to excuse my stubbornness but i'm trying i beg so why did you just start youtube honestly this is something that like i've always wanted to do it's not just something i just did because whatever like i'm at home right now i always always wanted to do it like i had an ex that like always like asked me when are you going to do this when are you going to do this like you should start this right now like you should have started it since even when i did my first video he was one of the first people that supported it completely and as much as he was happy he was quite disappointed that it had to take me 20 20 in order for me to do this but i feel like it was mostly fear i have to be honest honestly it was just fear like 
what if people don't care and i just reached at i just reached this point in my life i'm like even if they don't care i care right like do it for you like i'm happy doing it um i'm happy so that's all that matters so i just decided to like do it and i'm glad i did the next question i have is um this this is hard this is like a personal one <sighs> can i date someone with kids Hmm. It's, it's nature of race. I'm chewing, so they must say not chew. You're just planting it. Mm. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Mm. No, <laughs> nothing against them, but like. I can't like I don't I think it's a lot especially for like a I'm I just turned 25 this year I still see myself as a baby I don't think I'm someone's mother or like and I know most of them yeah they're gonna say oh they don't want you to be a mom in their life blah 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 but I just it's a lot to take on I don't, don't know if I can take that on because you have to deal with like first of all dating a single guy without kids so much work imagine adding children to it please don't get me started <laughs> like i it's nothing against them i just i don't think i can roll that way i think it's too much it's like heavy and at some point just start saying oh you're selfish can't you understand that like i have kids but i did from the start told you i don't want i did okay <laughs> um the next question was am i single Yes, I am. What's that thing that they say? I put the sing in single. Okay? I'm so single that like Ah, I just put the joke in my head. I'm about to release a single. Ah. <laughs> what is your problem? I'm very single, sure. Um, the last time I was in a relationship was probably two years ago. Yeah. That was my like last relationship, so yeah. Clearly, I'm single. The next question here is, what kind of person am I in a relationship? Huh? Most of these questions are looking like relationship questions. I don't like that. <laughs> I, for me, I was. I just want to be taken care of. I just want to. Sometimes I feel like I just want to be last and be taken care of. Um, I don't know. I feel like it depends. I think I'm very reasonable, like extremely reasonable, but at the same time, I have face. <laughs> so I'm very reasonable till I start to feel like, okay, you're taking this shit for granted. Like, okay, what's going on here? Pump the brakes. Then everything you knew about me before, scratch it, throw it inside the bin, like fling it in the bin, knew me. Because once I realized that like you're taking advantage of everything, you're acting some kinds of way, I don't know. I can't tell you who I'm going to become, but it's somebody else. Next question. Besides YouTube, what else do you do? That's interesting. Most people that see me don't necessarily, like, if you just see me from my Instagram and stuff, they kind of don't really know what I do, or they don't even expect me to do what I do. But yeah, I am an accountant, actually. I'm an accountant at Mercedes. I've been at the company for like a year now and um besides that i have a bunch of properties i manage and then obviously there's youtube so i feel like i have my hands pretty full like i'm busy 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 so yeah i have like a lot on my plate i used to be like a tutor for university and stuff but like i cut that out because it was just getting too much so right now i'm just like doing property my accounting and then i picked up youtube as well next question is what's your idea of a first date like what's your if your best idea of a first date i would say i like wine so i would say somewhere that has to do with like drinking a restaurant it sounds very cliche and whatever and no effort but like a good restaurant with good wine good food good company that's it for me and the thing with restaurants and a dinner date is Typically on the first date, a guy doesn't want to eat your food with you. 
Okay, let's move on. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like people's hand in my food. And if I do something like movies, oh gosh, let me take, let me take this thing, let me take, let me take, let me guys, this thing. I'm so excited. Okay, I went out on this movie day and this um, I went out to see a movie. First date with this guy, everything was looking cool. Like you know how you, he was like, oh get there like. 20 minutes before so we don't work we're not late for the movie so i can see you we can talk a little bit like maybe get a shot or something before we head into the theater i'm like oh yeah sure i showed up surprisingly i showed up on time i was there and then homeboy he goes like oh what do you want like in the movie right i'm like yeah sure i want um like my popcorn whatever and a drink i'm like do you want anything he's like no no, no i'm good We entered the movie. Somebody I asked to, do you want anything? I asked him. Okay. We went there. And then this guy told, you know, romance. What's the name of that thing? I'm not a man of love. Everyone can never be preaching love. I'm not a man of preach of love. I'm a war. I'm a fight. I'm in the bosky. I'm I'm not to don't play with my food. This this shit is not mm -mm touchy topic this guy <laughs> i'm even angry thinking about it now this guy decided that romance watching a movie hand on your shoulder it's your popcorn <laughs> are you mad did i not ask you if you want popcorn you said no now all of a sudden your hand is in my popcorn why is there a reason why I was very angry. I didn't say anything. I didn't tell him I was angry. I didn't tell him why, but my spirit was boiling because I don't like that kind of thing. Just do your day. Let me do my day. Let everybody just, you know, space. Space is very important in the, like, your first five to like six dates. I'm sure you people are like, that's why she's single. Yes. And so you got married. Focus on yourself. Thank you. <laughs> but like space is very very important i don't see why you have to be all up in my personal space like i don't like that that was that was besides that and some other things he did that's the reason why we're not together now okay i don't like that like don't put your hand in my food don't don't assume i think that's the word don't just assume especially when you're getting to know someone don't assume anything eventually yeah sure like i'm sure like afterwards if you put this dirty hand in my popcorn, I will have complained. But not the first date. Like, are you mad? Whatever. That's that's my idea of a first date. Just to answer your question, is like dinner, wine, good conversation, and all of that stuff. Honestly, with wine, I'm good. You can just get me talking. You can talk about pretty much anything, and I'm good. And tell me I'm pretty. I have one question here that says like, what's your take on plastic surgery? I don't care let me tell you why like people will always talk that's like my personal opinion people will always say something they always have like their two cents to add to anything and if you're shaped like a freaking slice of pizza guess what they will talk if you do your body even the pizza back to the pizza story they including me i will talk i'm sorry I don't have anything I'm doing. If someone shows me, <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not mature. I'm sorry, guys. But just honestly, if you have, if your butt is unrealistic, will I talk? Yes. But guess what? If which side would you rather be on? That I'm talking about you. But while I'm talking about you, you're happy. Or I'm talking about you and you're miserable in that situation. Not me, this like just like an example. I think it's better if like someone is talking about you, whatever they are saying about you, at least you're doing what makes you happy. So if that thing, if you want to do your surgery, as long as long as it's not for a guy, because believe me, they change their mind all the time, so there's no point. But like if it's for yourself and you know this thing is going to make you happy and it's for you, do it because people will talk regardless. You might as well have them talking about something that like if you're going to if you're going to make silly comments or whatever and i'm doing what i like and i'm happy guess what i don't care because even if it was the reverse you're still going to give your dirty sticky opinion that nobody asked about so you might as well just do what you want to do to be very honest 
I'm not endorsing um surgery. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is do what makes you happy. As long as you do your research, you're safe, whatever, do what makes you freaking happy because people will always have an opinion. That's just the way I see it. Guys, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Comment down below, like if you have like an opinion on whatever I just spoke about. If you have like a different take on it, hey, it's welcome. I respond to people in the comment section, so please put it down there. Let's have a chat. Like Vit, Vit, what's her name? Vitko, can I put you on for a chat, please? Let's have a chat. Like just put it out there. I don't know. I really don't. What's one of my goals for the year? When this year started, I had a vision board. I'm one of those people. Like I literally still have it. I have it in my closet. I just put it down there and I like one of the goals I had was financially. Like if I wanted to start something that I cared about and was still profitable, right? So an investment per se, an investment doesn't necessarily have to be like stocks. It can even be an investment in yourself. That's the way I saw my investment. But I saw an investment in something like putting effort, time, whatever money into something that I thought would yield results. So that's one of my goals for this year. And the other one, I put that actually, I started, I, the other one I would say personal growth. And boy, has that already started. Like, I felt like I've been triggered. I have been pushed. I have been frustrated. And personal grow, like, if not for, like, me realizing that, you know what, I need to suck it up and grow up. People are annoying. They're always going to be annoying. It didn't start when I came to this world. And it's not going to stop then. And, yeah, that's one of those. What's my favorite color? That's one of the questions the black i could see i could wear black every single day and i would not see anything wrong nothing nothing is wrong with what i'm wearing everything is fine it looks normal it looks perfect my biggest fear say would be feeling like this youtube thing it took me five years five freaking years and it's something that like i always wanted to do but i'm like oh i'll do it later like i just feel it's not the perfect time if i do it right now i might not succeed wait but is there any is like there's there's never a perfect time there's always something that's going to be wrong and i actually i've come to terms with that like for example i started like some businesses this year in i believe i started it in march in february i started april corona really so it's like this and i don't regret it like it's been hard but i don't regret it because anything else could have gone wrong and like i feel when you for me if i start something and i start hard when something else tackles me i'm not scared because it was already very hard so with me it's like once i start or oh, believe me once i start i don't stop i'm like a freaking bulldozer but like to get myself to start i think about everything that could go wrong or oh, this or oh, that or oh, blah 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 but then i finally stand i'm like okay cool i'm already here so once i start because i'm so scared to fail i won't stop because i feel quitting is failing so i would literally ride it out till like god is like honey the break is done come out but nah <laughs> um last question i got was what did you learn from last year i think i already kind of spoke on this but i would say just do what makes you happy honestly i feel like that's the one thing i took away from last year because i used to i'm not control freak but like i used to try to control like the narrative of like the way people saw me and it's a good thing like it's not something i regret but i realized that like i can't control it completely like there's only so much i can control and at that point like if i'm weighing everybody's perspective on something before i do it i'm not doing it for me i'm just doing it because it's favorable so i had to cut that and realize honey be happy 
do what makes you happy what makes me happy may not make the next person happy and people may question my decisions and all of that but when it's profitable when the good deeds come out watch them <laughs> so at the end of the day just do what you want to do do what makes you happy life is for the living every day is a freaking chance to start what you want to start so suck it up and do it that's what i learned from last year and human beings are very confused that's not what i learned but yeah no this is rough life is that day no be nice malt So that's it for me. Um, that's it for me. Um, I hope I was able to like give you guys a sense of who I am, the kind of things I like, why I even started this channel to begin with. I hope you guys got a little bit more sense of Chinwe, you know? Hopefully I see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe please the link is like down the subscription thing is like down here please <laughs> see you next time